हाई स्टूडेंट्स लेट सॉल्व क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू वाटर टेक्नोलॉजी इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व टू टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन ईज इट क्वेश्चन पेपर्स और लेट्स गेट बैक टू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कैनॉट बी यूज फॉर स्टेरिलाइजेशन ऑफ ड्रिंकिंग वाटर सो द थ्री केमिकल्स विच आर कॉमनली यूज एज प्राइमरी डिसइनफेक्टेंट्स आर क्लोरिन क्लोरिन ऑक्साइड डाइऑक्साइड एंड ओजोन सो दीज टू आर नॉट द आंसर्स because monochloroamine which is also used as chloramine is also used as residual disinfectant for distribution also remember potassium chloride can also be used for sterilization so you have your answer as calcium oxychloride which is not a sterilization which cannot be used for sterilization of drinking water next is the explanation for it so a water sample showed to contain 1.20 mg per liter of magnesium sulfate magnesium sulfate then it hardens in terms of its hardness in terms of calcium carbonate equivalent is so calcium carbonate equivalent is given by the formula mass of the hardness producing substance into molecular weight of calcium carbonate total divided by molecular weight of hardness producing substance here it is magnesium sulfate now what is the mass of hardness producing substance which is given in the question magnesium sulfate is 1.20 mg per liter now what is the molecular weight of calcium carbonate for calcium it is 40 and you have one molecule of carbon which is 12 and for oxygen you have three molecules 316s are 48 So the total molecular weight is hundred. Next, the molecular weight of magnesium sulfate. Here, molecular weight of magnesium is twenty four. Sulfur is thirty two, and you have four molecules of oxygen. Four sixteen is sixty four. So this is one twenty. Now, if you substitute in the formula, I'll be getting one point two zero divided by hundred into one twenty. so if i divide it i'll be getting one part per million next this is the formula for it so the this pdf is available in the link provided below so soda used in lime soda process for softening water is chemically called so basically lime soda process is a standard water softening process and it is carried either in hot or cold conditions so basically it uses lime which is caoh2 twice and soda ash which is sodium na2co3 to reduce the hardness of treated water by precipitating the dissolved calcium and magnesium salts as insoluble calcium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide so it also uses the preparation of sodium hydroxide by mixing slaked lime with soda and filtering of the precipitated calcium carbonate so here i can simply remember soda so lime is caoh2 whereas soda is na2co3 so this is your sodium bicarbonate also remember in the preparation of caustic soda sodium hydroxide by mixing caoh2 with soda and filtering of the precipitate caco3 okay now let's go to the next question this is the explanation for it the adsorbent used in permutated processes so the other name of permutated processes base ion exchange method so permutated means exchange and in this process hard water is treated with base exchange complex or zeolites to remove hardness of water so zeolites are naturally occurring in insoluble insoluble mineral of sodium alumino silicate type complex or sodium permutate okay so here if you observe the answer it is sodium alumino silicate this type of ion exchanger may produced artificially 
and you can know the formula formula sodium aluminium silicate sodium aluminium silicate type complex so this is explanation for it next the concentration of a 1.0 into 10 power minus 3 molar solution of calcium nitrate in water is so for calcium nitrate the formula is cno3 twice and you have your molecular weight of calcium nitrate as for calcium it is 40 and you have two molecules of no3 so for nitrogen it is 14 and you have three molecules of oxygen so here the total comes to 164 grams in case of calcium nitrate now the question is one molar of calcium nitrate is 164 grams now what is the question it is 1 by 10 power 3 or I can simply write 1 into 10 power 3 10 power minus 3 can be written as 1 by 10 power 3 or it is 0 0.001 yeah, molar so what is the question so for one molar I will be having 164 grams now what is the question as 0 0.001 molar will be having 0 0.164 into 5000 because parts per million formula is 10 power 6 mass of the solute divided by mass of the solution into 10 power 6 so here 0.164 is the mass of the solute and 1 liter is the mass of the solution now if i will be getting 164 parts per million this is the answer this is explanation for it next which one of the following can be the best for sterilization of water so sterilization is done by disinfectants and these disinfectants are mainly used for sterilizing the surfaces used for work in emergency they may be used for even sterilizing the surgical instruments like forceps scissors knives or blades so the most commonly used disinfectants include alcohol iodine or chlorine so for sterilization of water we use chlorine next formaldehyde is manufactured by so basically formaldehyde is formed by dehydrogenization of methanol and the heat required for endothermic reaction is obtained by burning hydrogen contained in the off gas which is produced by dehydrogenation reaction so dehydrogenation of methanol over a catalyst at high temperature so there is also another route when involves oxidization of methanol over a catalyst like molybdenum and iron oxide however this is given in the options next the ph value of potable water should lie in between so generally the ph value of most drinkable water must be in the range of 6.5 to 8.5 and natural waters can have a lower ph value as a result of for example due to acid rain or something which may even also result in higher ph in limestone areas so if you see the options this is suitable eliminating the other options next Deaeration of high pressure boiler feed water is done to reduce. So, deaeration is basically used to expel the dissolved gases in particular oxygen from water prior to its use in steam generating boilers. So, deaeration of boiler feed water is usually accomplished by steam heating now dissolved gases in water 
cause corrosion in the boiler condensate and feed water system so if you see the definition itself deaeration it is the process in which mainly oxygen content dissolved oxygen content is removed next 100 ml of water contains 40 mg of calcium ions what is the hardness of water as earlier we have discussed the formula parts per billion million is mass of the solute divided by mass of solution into 10 power 6 here it is given as 40 mg which can be translated to 0.04 into 10 power 6 and you have 100 ml of water so if i do the calculation i'll be getting 400 ppm so the answer is this next which solution is used to generate the cationic exchange resin so basically regeneration is the replacement of exchangeable cations or anions present in original resin so regeneration of the cation exchange resin is done by charging the column with strong hydrochloric acid so if you see this option it is strong hydrochloric acid so see this one so dilute hydrochloric acid and dilute nitrogen oxide are the cation and anion resins so we must use hydrochloric acid for regeneration next which one among the following water sample contains more hardness so if you if you see the combinations 50 moles of caco3 calcium carbonate in 100 ml water contains higher level of hardness than any of the other options given above next hard water contains so hard water is one which does not produce lather with soap solution readily but forms a curdy precipitate so hard water basically contains dissolved calcium and magnesium salts whereas soft water will give lather easily so dissolved salts are not present in soft water so simply remember it will not have dissolved salts so hard water will contain small amount of dissolved calcium and magnesium salts next the unit of expressed rate, i express the hardness of water is very simple it is parts per million or i can write milligram per liter this is the unit i can also write it in degree clark or degree french or degree russian or there is also another unit gpg which is grains per imperial gallon next ion exchange process is done in water to remove what so ion exchange process is a water treatment method used to remove unwanted dissolved impurities from water and other liquid solutions so basically ion exchange process is a process by which accomplished through exchange of ions from the contaminant with ions from desirable substance so ion exchange is a reversible exchange process of ions between liquid and solid so in this i can remove solid particles through this water tre treatment method with this questions related to water technology are completed so we'll discuss corrosion in the next video